My name is Graham Elwood. You're watching Boom! Political Vigilante. Thank you so much for watching the show, you guys. Please support me on the patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. The link is below. YouTube is unsubscribing people. I'm stuck at 9,700 subscribers. So if I got right now, it's like 1%, 2% or something like that are of my subscribers, of my viewers are kicking into this. So if we could have a little more, if we could get up to four or 5%, even a couple bucks a month helps the show out. Because I need to tell you about stories like this. Scientists warn, of, warn the United Nations of capitalism's in, imminent demise. This was in um, Motherboard, I believe the link is in the show notes below. What happened is a group of scientists, mainly from Finland, did this study. They're, they're this new, they're called like environmental economists. And it's a very interesting study. It's a very in-depth article. I would suggest reading it as well, but I'm going to go over the fine points with you right now. So what they're saying is, and I've talked about this before, the carbon bubble. So we have a whole global economy that is basically completely dependent upon the oil industry and coal and natural gas and stuff like that. And they're like, that form of capitalism is not sustainable. It's a very fascinating study. A climate change fueled switch away from fossil fuels means the worldwide economy will fundamentally need to change. And this is something I've talked about before. The governor of the Bank of England gave a speech three years ago that we need to figure out a way to deflate the carbon bubble because if it bursts, we're in, a, we're in a problem. It's one of the reasons why you can see the oil industry doubles down so hard on the denial of climate change. All of Trump's original cabinet was climate change deniers. He keeps firing and replacing people. I can't keep up with it. I'm sure most of them are climate change deniers as well. Um, but this is what... And th th that's where their solution is so flawed. And it basically shows capitalism now used to have, used to have in it long-term sustainability. And now they're just going to profit for the next quarter. We just need a good quarterly return. We, so the stock shares are up. We're not thinking 5, 10, 20 years down the road. We're not even thinking two years down the road. And this is a lot of the things that... And these are economists. This isn't some hippie think tank. This is a bunch of economists. Climate change and species extinctions are accelerating even as societies are experiencing rising inequality, unemployment, slow economic growth, rising debt levels, and impotent governments. Contrary to the way policymakers usually think about these problems, the new report says that these are not really separate crises at all. And the report goes into politicians try to make all of these things separate but they're all connected. That's the thing we talk a lot about on this show. The rise of, of nationalism around the globe is because all of this is failing. And there's not, we're not getting real progressive uh, populist socialist platforms. So people are, are running to demagogues. They're running to, blame, let's blame immigrants or whatever. You're seeing that England is going, that's what Brexit was largely fueled by racism. And then Jeremy Corbyn comes in and everyone rallies around him. And of course, the establishment and the corporate media in the UK go after him. Um, but the paper's lead author, Dr. Pavo... Uh, Jarvin Sivu is a biophysical economist. This is an emerging type of economist exploring the role of energy and materials in fueling economic activity. The BIOS paper suggests that much of the political and economic volatility we have seen in recent years has a root cause in ecological crises, as the ecological and economic costs of industrial consumption continue to rise, the constant economic growth we have become accustomed to is now in jeopardy. That, in turn, has exerted massive strain on our politics. So we're creating, I'm going to go back to read this again, we're creating a biophysical economist. And this is the thing that we need. We need the smartest people out there. You know, I remember seeing an interview with um, Noam Chomsky, and he said, you know, when Obama was elected, did he get a bunch of Nobel laureate economists to come into his cabinet and help fix the Great Recession? No. He brought in bankers. And this is what we need. 
This is why we need innovation. There's people out there, highly intelligent, highly educated, who are trying to find, they're seeing these connections and therefore seeing these solutions. But this is the problem. This is a quote from the paper. We face a form of capitalism that has hardened its focus to short-term profit maximization with little or no apparent interest in social good. That's why we got to get around it. But the problem is, well, it's not even, I, it's just the reality is that none of this stuff is sustainable and they keep fighting it and keep fighting it. And then neoliberals back corporate politicians just to get any blue in there. But it doesn't matter because, but capitalist markets will not be capable of facilitating the required changes. Governments will need to step up and institutions will need to actively shape markets to fit the goals of human survival. Right now, the prospects for this look slim, but the new paper argues that either way, change is coming. So from a global economic standpoint, we gotta face climate change. And again, it's why we gotta back real progressives and it's why we're not gonna like settle for some kind of progressive fakey, resistant corporate Democrat. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. This model's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So Elizabeth Warren giving a tongue lashing to a Wells Fargo executive, but he still gets his $124 million, but that's not sustainable. Because climate change, it's the money to keep, to go get fossil fuels, to extract it, and then the money for the cleanup when we have seven hurricanes in America like we did last year. When we have the worst wildfires, each year is another record-breaking wildfire year in California. We don't have the money to pay for this. And we have an outdated capitalist global economy that is deeply rooted in fossil fuels. So that's why we push for the Green New Deal. That's why I talk about that. And it's why you guys are supporting this show and it's why you're out there getting your own information and you're out changing on a local level. That's why you're all political vigilantes and you are all making Gotham great. Thanks for watching.